everyone. I thought I'd start off with the vlog a little bit differently today. Um, what you saw yesterday was um, I did do two time lapses um, footage from IKEA, which I'm not sure whether you'll be able to tell. But I went to IKEA and then you saw me putting um, two, well, one chest of drawers together. Uh, they were just the Malm um, side tables. Um, but basically, um, at the end of that, I flew dead to put the other one together because I felt really sick. I got a really bad migraine, so I ended up going to bed early. So, yeah, um, I've already edited that footage. Hopefully, I can put background music to it. But because I um, iMovie still doesn't let me get into the Christmas songs there so i can't really use them so it'll probably just be like a normal background music type thing i don't know we'll just have to see if not it might be quiet again which is what i don't really want because i think everyone's getting a little bit bored with that now and so am i so yeah um i am currently on my way to the hairdressers to get my boots done because they need doing um i'm not gonna film that um so yeah, that is the first update of today. Oh, it is nine o'clock in the morning, course past nine in the morning. Um, so, yes, I will see you in a bit. Good morning, everyone. It is currently the next day. Um, I didn't carry on filming yesterday because basically I wasn't feeling well. Now, I'm not sure whether I mentioned it ages ago, um, in a few vlogs ago, um, basically I was constantly ill and I ended up going to the doctors and getting antiacids prescribed to me um, because I was getting what I believe to be um, morning sickness, um, pregnancy like symptoms and the reason I say what I believe to be is because when I was pregnant with Flo, I never actually got any pregnant, I never actually got morning sickness or anything like that. The only pregnancy symptom I got was growing a bump. Um, I didn't get anything else. So basically, um, it got to the point ages ago where I was, I was getting what, what the doctor described as heartburn, and um, it was making me sick to the point where I couldn't eat um, because I was in so much pain. I just felt like I was constantly going to be sick, and. Um, I was I was getting I was constantly tired as well, so I couldn't really do anything. Um, but yesterday, well, the day before yesterday, I went to bed with a migraine and I was really really sick throughout the night, but I didn't actually throw up. And basically, I started panicking a bit because I have to travel to my hairdressers for when I get my hair done. As you can see, and my roots have been done. It's not probably picking up at that great on camera because it is early in the morning. It's like nine o'clock in the morning and it is quite dark in this room. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I knew I'd have to cancel it if I, if I was still ill because I could usually, if I get a migraine, it can run into like two, three days of me being ill and not being able to do anything. But yeah, anyway, um, when I went to the hairdressers, um, I I just started feeling sick again and by the time I got home I was just really really exhausted so um, I left it there and I'm picking up here yeah, instead so basically I am due to get my nails done today so I have to go back to the hairdressers because that's where my nail technician is and I am really looking forward to getting my nails done because Basically, um, I had to remove them myself last week um, and when I was shaving my arm, under my arm a couple of days ago, I shaved right through my nail and I think I shaved a little bit underneath my nail as well, which I don't even think, you probably, no, you can't even see it that well, to be honest, but the end started flipping up from where I shaved, so basically... I had to trim my nails right back so they're like really really short at the moment and then it started flicking up again so I just pulled it and yeah I got rid of that so I'm really looking forward to getting nails so just to 
get rid of that because when I did it, it took about three days for the paint to stop and I would, I've never done that before and all I could think was if I'd left those acrylics on a little bit longer it wouldn't have happened because it would have caught the acrylic and said to me actual nail. But back to those acrylics. Now, I don't know whether you briefly saw them in my last couple of videos that I did, but they were like a bluey type. It was something different. It's not something I'd normally go for. And oh my God, she put gems on them. She must have put them on with super glue because I couldn't get them off. And it took me ages to get the bloody things off. And luckily they were only on two nails, but it got to the point where I was having, I couldn't even file them down because they wouldn't file off completely. And it got to the point where I ended up getting a knife to them and I actually stabbed myself in the finger trying to get the gems off. So I'm not going to be getting gems put on again because if she has used super glue for them, yeah. So anyway, moving on. I've been doing a little collection on eBay. So basically, I've bought a few little items on eBay. It's nothing to do with Christmas at all. So just in case you're wondering, uh, it's going to be like a Christmassy thing. It's not one of those items is. And that is this item. I don't know whether you can actually... Yeah, this item. Now, I bought this for all in all £20. Because I thought... We have booked somewhere for Boxing Day, so we'll be going out for a meal on Boxing Day. So I thought, I need a jacket for like a dress or something, something nice. So I saw this. It's my size. It's fit. It's the company Phase 8. And as you can see, it's still got the label on it. And the retail price was £120. So I got like £100 off this. Um, it is a little bit tight on, which I'm not going to show you. But I mean, just look at the detail on it. It's like it's really nice and sparkly and it's the perfect like evening type jacket thing so that was the first purchase i got from ebay now the second thing i got was to do with my nails now basically when you get acrylics done you eventually have to get them soaked off and that costs money obviously it depends on where you're going it can cost 10 pounds and i just thought to myself you know what Instead of going somewhere to get them soaked off, because every time I go somewhere to get them soaked off, that hasn't been the place that I got them put on. They've always been rude to me. They've been so ignorant. So basically, I just thought, you know what? With with what it costs, it I'm going to get the stuff to do it myself. And that's going to save me God knows how much bloody money. So basically, I went to eBay and I bought two soak off dishes. Now, the first one... I got two of these and the second one that came with this set had a big massive crack down the back so basically I contacted the eBay seller and I said look it's broken can you send me a new one I did actually say in the message I'm not retaining the item because I've sent photographic evidence and a lot of eBay eBay sellers would be like oh no you've got to retain the old one didn't do that at all they just said we'll put another one in the post and I got that yes two days ago and that's the kind of response you want from ebay sellers not oh you've got to retain it you know why should you pay for a retain on something that's damaged and that's going to get thrown in the bin anyway as long as you provide photographic evidence they should just send you a new one and that's how i think personally that should work so i got two of them i got some nail files so so when it comes to filing the nail off I can file them off and these are the ones that they do use because I've watched them when they've been doing me nails. These are definitely the ones. And then I got the buffer as well. Buffers as well, which I haven't actually opened yet. So yeah, I haven't actually opened these. So give me a minute. Um yeah, they're just basic buffers for your nails. And all in all, all those three things, the buffers, the nail files and the dishes, they cost about £10. That's how much I would pay to get my nails soaked off. So with all this equipment, I'm going to save so much money. Now, the fluid, 
that they use the I do actually have a bottle of it but I can't remember what it's bloody called um acetone I think it's acetone that they use I have a bottle of that and I, that was only about two pounds in super drug I'm not gonna lie it's not the best quality but it wasn't exactly expensive either so that's why now secondly I bought I haven't been wearing makeup that much this year so I thought to myself you know what I want to start getting into makeup again and I'd run out of the colour that I'd normally use so I found the products that I would you normally sell normally buy um, when I go to a shop there uh, is the Rimmel these two I use the light porcelain because it's the perfect match to my skin basically especially when I don't have a tan when I have a tan that's when I find it very difficult to match but this is the perfect colour and these were two for £12 if you buy one you're normally looking at about £8 and it's so funny with because I've seen a lot of other YouTubers saying when they've bought like makeup like this they've been like oh the fake do you know blah 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 it's like it, it's quite funny to watch because these aren't fake what they do is they sell them under unbranded if and basically that means they're selling them for the price of what of how much it will cost the manufacturer to make and that's why they're so cheap not because they're fake because they're selling them for what the manufacturer would basically sell them for and that's all so if you buy anything i mean don't get me wrong you will find fake items there like i mentioned in my last video when i unbox my mini pochette but if you look hard enough you will find the real thing and this is the real thing now the last thing that i bought i went a bit mad on this to be honest i started watching youtube videos and you know when you do watch my bag videos and you bring out the hand sanitizer the bath and body works hand sanitizer i found loads on ebay so i bought loads and i bought this as well it didn't come in this packet basically this is a mixture this is like three different orders so basically one of the orders sent me this this cellophane packet with the ribbon and the label as well so i just thought you know what i'm just going to shove everything in here as a keepsake type thing so i've got all my christmas ones all my autumn ones um i've got my halloween ones my my fall or autumn whatever they like to call it christmas ones and they weren't that expensive and i'm actually quite grateful that i got them to be honest because hand sanitizers they're there to keep your hands clean basically that's the whole purpose of a hand sanitizer but if they're just basic antibacterial and you know they don't have any scent to them or anything like that you're just not gonna want to use them because they're not as fun whereas i'm going to be honest with these i basically found myself using more so i have two of these hand sanitizers in not these actual ones but obviously different fragrances in my bag and they are so amazing it's just unbelievable so yeah that is that um and i think there's as you can see there's loads there's a lot and i'm gonna go through them and i know i'm gonna go through them so that was my little ebay haul it wasn't anything to do with well to be honest this was the only thing to do with christmas but otherwise everything else was just like a necessity type thing so i'm gonna start getting ready now because i have to leave in about two hours i was debating putting makeup on today but to be honest it's meant to be raining later and i don't own an umbrella so it will be pretty pointless to me with put makeup on because it's just gonna slide down my face um and the last thing i want to do is put the effort into wearing makeup and then you know the day's fucking shit so yeah but i'm gonna get my hair me nails done um when i got my hair done yesterday she's actually started using this new product um i don't think it's brazilian blowout but it's informally known as b3 um it's bonding it's brazilian bonding 
developer or whatever and oh my god this is the first time my hair has felt amazing since I have started bleaching it um, it feels like it's never been bleached before obviously there's bits at the end where my hair does need to trim when I go in next time but other than that every time I go into the hairdressers um, because the hair dryer dries out my hair I normally have to wash it that night just to get a bit of moisture back in my hair I haven't done that with this that's how good this is so yeah and again I went to bed like this I've used no straighteners and I woke up with perfectly straight hair so I'm very happy with that so anyway that was that little bit um I'm gonna go and get ready and then I will see you later boots and a trespass old waterproof coat um, and you may be thinking it's not that stylish but try pushing the pram and holding an umbrella at the same time it doesn't work so um, I'm in here to have a look at the Christmas things and there was a set of stacker mugs that I saw so hopefully going to be getting them as well Rabbit collection as well. So, I've just got home about half an hour ago. I've just had a bath because I was cold, miserable and wet. So, I needed a bath anyway, so I thought I might as well just warm myself up by having a bath. So, I've just got out the bath. I did buy those stack of mugs, but it took me two hours to get home and three different buses i'm not impressed i'm really not impressed this is one of the reasons why i don't like going out that often because it takes me ages to get home and i just don't like that i'd rather be home and you know comfy especially in this type of weather so anyway these are the mugs that you saw and i bought them but i got them reduced by a pound because there was a little bit of damage to one it's it's not even noticeable damage you'd have to run your finger across the top to see the damage i think all of the others are fine from what i can see there is no damage to any of the others 
but I thought, you know what? Because I was looking at all the different Christmas things and I thought, at the moment, what am I gonna get more use out of? It'll be the stack of one mugs because at the moment I'm drinking coffee, tea, hot chocolates, so they can all go in there and everyone uses mugs, so, you know, it was a bit obvious. Also, oh my God, after I stopped filming, it all kicked off in CK Maxx. Now, I'm going to admit to something that I wouldn't normally admit to because it's not something to be proud of. You've all probably guessed I'm from England and you've all probably guessed that I'm living or I'm originally from Liverpool, which I am. I don't live in Liverpool. I live over the water, um, close to Cheshire. But today I was in Birkenhead. Not the place you want to go to. It's a dump. It's a shit tip. It's it's nowhere to be fucking proud of, to be honest. And whenever I go there, there's always some sort of drama. As soon as I stop filming in TK Maxx, some woman, uh, basically, her granddaughter, I'm guessing it was her granddaughter, had bought this bowl, this glass bowl, and it had broken. And when they took it back, the guy was like, uh, well, we can't, you know, it was taken out of the shop, so it's not our fault, it's broken, it's yours, blah, blah. But basically, TK Maxx hadn't wrapped it properly. Anyway, the woman kicked off and started shouting all over the shop, don't buy from me yet, you know, you, they sell your broken items, you know. And it's like, you know, she even started a fight with another one over it and it was just, it was so pathetic. And it's just like, it's just ridiculous. But in, to be honest, to be fair, TK Maxx, if you're selling breakables, you need to provide the products to wrap them securely to make sure that they don't break. And if you can't provide that, you shouldn't be selling breakables. Just saying. So for future reference, if you do go to TK Maxx, they will not bubble wrap, paper wrap, or any of those things to any breakable item you buy. They will just stick it in a carrier bag and blame it on you when you get home. There's that one. Secondly, I go to the bus stop and you know when you go to the bus stop to get a bus and then it's completely empty and about five minutes later you turn around and it's packed. It was one of those moments and I just thought, oh my God, I can't even get a bus. And then the bus was late. And then this what if you go, or if you know anyone in Birkenhead, you will know it's full of kids who have kids. Fact. And there's this girl there with, she looks about 16 and she had three kids, a little baby in a pram that couldn't walk and two other kids, a three year old and I'm guessing like a two, two year old or like a one and a half year old walking. And they were like walking way behind her and she had people shouting, going, ah, just give me one moment. Sorry about that. But Megan decided to be a bitch and start playing, try to chase the cat. Basically, what happens is I've got a baby gate up and the cat swipes the dog all the time to wind her up. And then she just starts moaning. And um, yeah, I had to shut the door so the cat could basically get in. Anyway, back to the story. Kids with kids. She had three kids running way behind her and there was people going no oh, look after your kids blah, blah and she was like oh no they're fine they're just behind me and they're with ya i was just like you can't look after your own kids it's fucking ridiculous i mean jesus christ if you think liverpool in fact no a lot of people don't think liverpool ba liverpool's bad they think it's an extremely great place that's for another vlog but it's not Birkenhead is the place you just don't want to fucking go. And unfortunately, because of where my hairdresser is based, I have to travel a long distance to get there and to my nail appointment as well. And I have to go through Birkenhead. If there was any way around it, I would do it. But there wasn't. So, yeah, unfortunately, that happened. So, I got my nails done. 
This is my nails. I did show you them in TK Maxx, but I'm not sure whether you really saw them. It's just a basic ombre, and I'm really happy with them because, to be honest, the blue ones that I had were... They were a little bit too much for me, so basically, I've gone for the safer option, and I'm a lot happier, to be honest. So, yes. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have me dinner. Um... I'm gonna end the vlog here. It might not have been much of a vlog, but to be honest, I did vlog in TK Maxx and I time lapse in, in, in IKEA, which is a lot more than I would have done last month. So things are improving. Um basically my next vlog will, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be in about two weeks now. Um, I am going to cut back on vlogs and I'm going to start going into a little bit more detail about what's going to happen in the new year over the next couple of vlogs as well. Um, but yeah, it's just at the moment it's a slow time of year for me and it's not really much more to say about it. A lot of people find it the busiest time of the year for them because it is, but due to the fact that I've actually done everything that needs to be done. The only thing that I need to do is get the food in for Christmas Day and that's it. Everything else is pretty much done. I've got all the presents in. I've been sorted for a while now. And yeah, so my next vlog, I don't even... I'm going to be honest. Give me a few ideas of what you'd like to see in the next vlog. Because I haven't got a clue at this point. Um this vlog was a bit mishmash in itself because i haven't really planned it properly um next year everything will be planned properly um but if you've got any ideas on what you'd like to see in the next vlog so basic even if you want like a meal prep or you know when it comes to like cooking the christmas dinner if you want like me to show you how i do things then i'd be willing to do that as well but until then, if you have any ideas, comment below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It would mean so much to me if you did. And I will see you next time. Bye.